on December 3rd, 2020, the way I perceived gaming changed forever. I was astounded from the moment I stepped into Oculus First Steps, 500 hours later, I can officially say that I'm a VR enthusiast. The Oculus Quest 2 was released in October 13th, 2020, and since then has the population of around about 29% of the total VR users on the market. Well, that's just on Steam. <laughs> However, since that time, how has the headset held up? Is the Oculus Quest 2 still worth it nine months after its release? And how has my experience been with the Oculus Quest 2 since I bought it back in December of 2020? My name is KinixT. How are you all doing? You'll find me at all these social media links right here. And let's get into the Oculus Quest 2 500 hours later. One key aspect of these X amount of hours later videos is, has it broken yet? Well, a VR content creator called Thrill Seeker basically answered that question a few months back. He demonstrated within his Oculus Quest 2 extreme torture test video that the Quest 2 holds up in some crazy scenarios. And when you convert that into real life and the actual general usage, the Oculus Quest 2 can take a beating, a real beating, and it still holds up pretty well. Nope. I haven't put this inside of a washing machine, <laughs> but I have done a few wall punches with the controllers and I've managed to hit myself in the face. Don't you dare say you haven't done it yourself. I've, I, don't you dare. <laughs> Apart from a few self injuries, the Oculus Quest 2 has held up pretty nicely, both system and even cosmetically, which is really nice. Even the Elite Head Trap, which I bought back when they were being recalled, has held up with no cracks or damages to it. With that being said, I have had a few profound issues. One of the more notorious ones being the facial interface. The facial interface that comes with the Quest 2 sucks and Oculus even knows it sucks too because I was able to get a free third party replacement from VR cover for free. Do I have it? Where is it? There was a study that was done on this facial interface to try and find any chemical substances that would essentially irritate the skin. That came back as pretty negligible. Negligible. <laughs> Basically not a lot. I think it was like 0.1 or something percent of facial interfaces were having these issues. Put you over there. Ooh. They gave me a free one by VR cover and I haven't looked anywhere since. Now, if your Oculus Quest 2 feels irritable to you, it's not guaranteed that you're essentially going to get a free one, but it's certainly worth a go. Apart from that notorious one, very simply, I had a weird buzzing sound in one of the speakers. I turned off all the overclocks on my PC. Seemed to work great. Hasn't happened since. I don't know why, but it worked. As well as like visual lag and stutter, which was solved by going into the like user details, processes on task manager, going down, finding OVS underscore server x64.exe, and then changing the priority to a high. So your CPU and your GPU kind of know to put all the resources into that. That's what I would basically try if you're feeling like your Oculus Quest 2 is stuttering whenever you plug it in through the Oculus Link. Give it a go. That is the headset. And this video is not solely based on durability alone as bigger, braver, content creators has taken that test to the extreme. So these 500 plus hours has taught me a lot about the Oculus Quest 2 and about VR in general. Uh, to give a brief synopsis on comparison between the Oculus Quest 2 and the other headsets that are currently in the market is very tough. Each brings its own pros and cons. The Quest 2 has its own as well. So let me go through those. Durability, ease of use, controllers feel comfortable and sturdy, portability, and it's a great star into VR if you don't have the PC to run the PC VR selves and also want a choice of standalone wireless and so forth and it's cheap cons of the headset viral life isn't as awesome limited games if you don't have a PC this is increasing as we go along and I know without the head strap or the facial interface it can become very uncomfortable and it needs IPD adjustment tracking uh, there's less features less functionality and if you put your hand behind your back you generally can lose tracking Over Overall, if you're a beginner or an experienced VR enthusiast, this headset is good. Very good, in fact. And especially for that cheap, cheap price point. In the past few months, Oculus has released a plethora. Plethora? <laughs> 
plethora worth of new updates and it's awesome it's obviously been thought out beforehand 120 hertz display it works not with every game right now but it works new office mode so infinite office i think they call it you can now introduce like keyboards into your oculus setup as well which is pretty awesome and you can also talk to people through the messenger app on your quest as well which is cool but again is the oculus quest 2 worth it inside of 2021 my 2p into this argument is that for 350 pounds 300 for the headset for the 64 gigabyte version as well as a much needed 50 pound elite strap it's certainly a very viable and very decent option that will go the distance with you 